Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if y is equal to y of x, that is the solution of a differential equation which is given by x squared dy plus y minus 1 by x dx is equal to 0. So if we have this differential equation and y equal to y of x is the solution of this differential equation, then with other conditions that says x is positive and y of 1 is equal to 1, means at x equal to 1, we have been told that y is equal to 1, then we need to find the value of y of half means we need to find the value of y at x equal to half. And if I talk about the answer choices, there are four options given to us. The first option being 3 by 2 minus 1 by root e. Second option, 3 plus 1 by root e. Third option given to us here is 3 plus e. And the last option given to us here is 3 minus e. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct option for the question given to us. So let's solve this question and let's figure out how to solve this. So what we'll do is first of all, if I write my differential equation, which was given to me, x square dy plus y minus one by x dx is equal to zero. If I try to simplify this differential equation, I get this as x square dy plus here, if I try to simplify this fraction, I can write that as xy minus 1 upon x dx is equal to c. So you get this entire fraction here. Now, if I try to get this second term on the right hand side, it becomes x squared dy is equal to minus of xy minus 1 upon x dx. So what you get here is minus of xy minus 1. So what I'll do is instead of taking minus, I'll multiply that minus sign inside. So I get this as 1 minus xy upon x dx. Further, if I try to simplify this idea, I get dy is equal to 1 minus xy upon this x square. I'm taking it from here and I'm taking it to the denominator of the right hand side so it gets divided x square into x dx so if i take dx on the other side you get dy by dx which is equal to 1 minus xy upon x cube so if i split my denominators here i get dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x cube minus xy upon x cube so what you get is x upon x cube. So x and x get cancelled. You're left with x square in the denominator. If you take that on the left hand side again, you get that as dy by dx plus 1 by x square into y is equal to 1 upon x cube. So you have this entire thing now. Now, if I compare it with my general form of the differential equation, which is dy by dx plus py is equal to q, I get from this comparison that p is 1 by x squared and q is 1 upon x cubed. Now, once I have p, once I have q with me, if I try to find out using this general form, I know integrating factor if is given by e raised to integral p dx. So if I use that idea, I get integrating factor for this question as e raised to integral 1 by x squared dx. So once I get integral of 1 by x squared dx, let's solve this. So I get that as e raised to integral of 1 by x squared means you are using the idea integral of x raised to minus 2 dx. And we already know the formula for integral of x raised to n that it is nothing but x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So you apply this idea, you get this as e raised to x, e raised to x raised to minus 1 upon minus 1, right? And with that, I get my integrating factor turned out 
e raised to minus 1 so negative and x raised to minus 1 if i want to make it power positive i write that as 1 by x so i get my integrating factor that is e raised to minus 1 by x now for this general form i know that the solution of this general differential equation if i write it down it is given as y into if it's equal to integral q into if dx plus c so if i write my general forms equation here with comparison of p and q i can write the solution of this given differential equation as y into if which is y if i already know now e raised to minus 1 by x is equal to integral of q q in this case is 1 by x cube integral of e raised to minus 1 by x dx plus c so you get this as c now once you have this equation here you can just solve this let's solve it so you get this as y e raised to minus 1 by x integral of 1 upon x cube and here you get e raised to minus 1 by x dx plus c so you have this integral let's try to solve this integral now so if i try to solve this integral on the right hand side first let's mark that integral value as i let's say this answer for integral whatever it comes out i'll put that as i so for now let's first solve that integral so let's say i is your integral which is 1 upon x cube e raised to minus 1 by x dx now what i can do here is i understand for 1 by x if i put that as t i get minus 1 by x square as your derivative for that so if i put let's say 1 by x as t i get this x raised to minus 1 so x raised to minus 1 is minus 1 into x raised to minus 2 dx equal to dt so i get minus 1 by x square dx is equal to dt or i can write that as 1 by x square dx is minus d so you get this entire thing now if i try to reframe this same equation i can write that as integral 1 upon x cube i can write that as 1 upon x square into 1 by x to e raised to minus 1 so if i try to reframe this i get 1 by x square dx is equal to minus dt and 1 by x i have substituted that as t so that becomes t and this becomes e raised to minus t so you have the entire integral now reframed as minus t into e raised to minus t dt so you can apply the idea of u into v rule so u into v rule if you are applying here you get that as integral of u into v dx which is u integral v dx minus big o integral derivative of u with respect to dx into integral v dx the whole thing with dx so if i apply the idea for this instead of dx we have it as dt so everywhere we will take the derivative with respect to t instead of x so it becomes basically if i apply the idea we first have to find out what is u and what is v that is actually found out by the order of Li8, where L is logarithmic, inverse trigonometric, algebraic, trigonometric, and exponential. So we have discussed this on our preview previous videos as well, where we apply this idea of u into v. So here, if I see e raised to minus t is your exponential term, whereas t, which is there, that's your algebraic term. So the first which comes here is t, so that will take as u and this will take as v so if i apply the idea i have minus integral of t e raised to minus t dt so first let's find out instead of keeping minus let's just find out for t e raised to minus t dt so u means t integral of e raised to minus t dt minus bigger integral derivative of t with respect to t which is 1 integral e raised to minus t dt the whole 
again integrated with respect to t. So you get t e raised to minus t, you get that as e raised to minus t upon minus 1, dividing by the coefficient of t minus, here you get that as we go integral, integral of e raised to minus t is integral minus t, e raised to minus t upon minus 1. And further, if I try to find that, I get that as minus t e raised to minus t minus 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 so plus integral of e raised to minus t is again minus 1 e raised to minus t. So you get this minus 1 divided so you are getting a negative sign again. So minus common I get that as t e raised to minus t plus e raised to minus t. So you get the entire integral value for integral t e raised to minus t as this. Now if I put that in my equation you have minus and integral of this. So minus and integral of this comes out to become minus. So minus common t e raised to minus t plus e raised to minus t. So you get this entire thing minus and minus becomes plus. So you get the value of this entire integral that is i. i basically becomes e raised to minus t if I take out common. I get t plus 1. So if I substitute, resubstitute t, I have substituted t as 1 by x. So I'll resubstitute, so I get e raised to minus 1 by x. And this becomes 1 by x plus 1. So you get this value of the integral for the question. Now let's try to solve it further and see what I get. So I have got the value of i, that is the integral here. If I substitute that, I'll get my solution of differential equation. So if I write my solution of differential equation, it was y e raised to minus 1 by x is equal to i. i is nothing but the answer for the integral which we found out and that is this. So if I substitute that in my solution of the differential equation, I get that e raised to minus 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1 plus c. So this c is nothing but the constant which we have to find out the value for. So we'll use one idea that was given to us in the question that said y at 1 equal to 1. So at x equal to 1, we'll go and put y as 1. Let's see what I get. So at x equal to 1, if I put y equal to 1, what I get here is 1 e raised to minus 1 upon 1. So e raised to minus 1 is equal to, again, e raised to minus 1. This becomes 1 upon 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So you get this 2 is equal to c. So if I try to find out what is c here, c basically becomes not equal to c plus. So you get e raised to minus 1 minus 2 e raised to minus 1 is equal to c. So with that I get c is minus e raised to minus 1 which is minus 1 by e. So I get the constant here value as c as minus 1 by e. And once I get that, if I put that in my solution of the differential equation, let's see what I get. So if I put that in my solution of differential equation, I have y e raised to minus 1 by x is equal to e raised to minus 1 by x into x plus, sorry, into 1 by x plus 1 plus constant of integration, which was also known to me, that is minus 1 by e. So I get that as minus 1 by e. So my solution of differential equation after getting the value of c becomes y e raised to minus 1 by x, e raised to minus 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1 and minus 1 by e. So this is our solution of differential equation. But I think we haven't been asked to find the value or the solution of the differential equation. We have been asked to find the value at y equal to y of half. So basically at x equal to half, we have to find the value of y here. So if I put that at x equal to half, I want to find the value of y. So let's find that out. So I'll keep y as it is. e raised to minus 1 by x, which is 1 upon half, that is minus 2, is equal to. Here you get e raised to minus 1 by x again, which is minus 2 again. 1 upon half, that is 2 plus 1 minus e raised to minus so you get this entire thing now if i try to solve this further let's see what i get here so i get 
the value of y if I try to figure it out y e raised to minus 2 is equal to 3 e raised to minus 2 minus e raised to minus 2. So if I put this e raised to minus 2 on the other side it gets divided and with that you get 3 e raised to minus 2 minus e raised to minus 1 upon e raised to minus 2. That basically gives you 3 for the first part if I split the denominators e raised to minus 2 gets cancelled and for the second part you get that as e raised to minus 1 and plus 2 that is e raised to plus 1. So you get that as e raised to 1 that is nothing but e. So you get the answer for y when x is equal to half and that turns out to become 3 minus e. So if you see the answer which I am getting here is option d. So d becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. Suppose we try to simplify our differential equation. Once we simplified the idea, we converted into our general form dy by dx plus dy equal to q. From that, we got our integrating factor and we also have our solution of the differential equation defined. Once we have p and q, we got the solution of the differential equation. Then to find the value of this integral, that is 1 upon x cube into e raised to minus 1 by x dx, we use the idea of Lyot here to find the product of the expression's integrals. So I just used the idea of this formula and found out the value of the integral. So you've got the integral answer and with that you've got the solution of the differential equation. Once you got the solution of differential equation, you put add x equal to 1, y equal to 1, which is the condition given to us. From that, we got the value of the constant of integration, that is c. Once we got c, we got our general differential equations solution here with the value of c. And when I got the value of c here, I just put x equal to half. That gave me the value of y that y at x equal to half is 3 minus e which matches with option d. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we're going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12 as well as JWE pins. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of questions on JW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on an everyday basis. Thank you.